Hey, uh, what's up guys? It's a uh, art book addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. Okay, so pose you guys a problem, all right? Um, here's the issue. I really love Resident Evil, right? Big, huge fucking fan. R2 remake, dude. Love it, dude. Okay, I have like 88 hours on it, right? And I have an S plus rank on every one of the things, right? So, and I know how to run the game, it's, it's fun to me, right? Sometimes I just pop it in and be like, hey dude, do I wanna, you know, play a, do a Leon A, dude, like two hour run, dude, you know, sub two hour. I think my fastest time was uh, 145, okay? But that's besides the point, okay? The point is, is that I fucking love Resident Evil, okay? Um, but there's an issue right now, and that is, um, the art, okay, so if you guys are a fan of Resident Evil, right, and you're a big art book collector like I am, um, you'll know that Resident Evil is in this really weird spot with concept work, where there's a lot, there's not much of it, you know what I mean, in comparison to most other games, I guess the earlier games, like, but if you look for, like, like, Resident Evil 4 art, it's, it's very obtuse, you know, like, all this stuff is very hard to find. Right, there, there's not very many art books with Resident Evil, and if there are, there's not much art. It's more like the 3D models, right? Because I think they tend to just go for a realistic look, right? Um, and I would say that Resident Evil 2 Remake also kind of has that issue, uh, but to a lesser degree, right? Because um, if you guys play the game, right, and you know the game, then you know that you unlock concept art in the game, right? Um, and that's kind of where the issue lies, right? Um, instead of consolidating all the art, like, it's a good thing, it's also a bad thing. Instead of consolidating all the art into an art book, they just put a lot, I guess, some of their best stuff into the, uh, into the game itself, right? Which is cool, because then you get, you know, the art and stuff, right? Which is nice. Um, the problem with that is that uh, something like this, the collector's art book, as a result, has almost little to no concept art at all, right? Um, once I get into it, you guys will see what I'm talking about, right? But suffice to say that um, this art book, right, doesn't really have that much art, right? Unless you consider, like, you know, cool skin uh, screenshots of the in-game, uh, you know, maps, cool, right? As and as concept art, and in a way, like, it's good. It looks cool, and so I'm going to judge it based on that. Right, but um, in terms of like actual concept art, there's not much, right? And so as a result, um, I've decided to uh, collect as much concept work as I can, right? And then I'm gonna put this alongside um, this art book, right? So we're gonna do the art book first. Uh, I'll tell you guys how I feel about the art book. Uh, actually, no, no. I'll, 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 we'll do the art book, and then we'll do the concept images, and at the very end. Uh, I'll tell you, like, basically just like an overall review of, like, the art book and then the concept work itself, right? And just the art of Resident Evil, right? Because I, I was having frustration thinking, like, hey, dude, am I going to do two lackluster videos, right? Or could I just do one giant video, right? Because uh, I feel like Resident Evil deserves it, right? We're just going to do one fat run, right? Right, much like in Resident Evil, we just do one run, dude. Right, fuck it. Who gives a shit, dude? No saves, no ink ribbons, dude. Fuck it, dude. No save run, dude. <sighs> so, uh, with that said, let's get to it. Okay. Um, much like uh, many of the art books uh, that I've been getting lately. Um, they are sourced at uh, ehentai.com, right? Yes, I know, I understand. Oh, hentai, ooh, all that bullshit, right? It's a great place to find art books, okay? Right? Uh, just remove all the other tags, right? If you want to, if you don't want to see no tit, right? Which there's nothing wrong with seeing a little tit, right? Um, then just put all the filters on. You could probably find the art book you're looking for in most cases, right? Um, so yeah, this is where I got that. And because like I, I wanted to get the collectors, but I got I pre-ordered way too late, right? So I wasn't able to actually get the book. Um, but yeah, after looking through the book, I don't really feel that bad about it, right? Here we go. So uh, 
we just have some like you know documents and shit like that right I guess uh, these are these are just like pictures of the files right uh, very similar to the Dead by Daylight art book right in a way um, I guess these are just made for you know deco uh, for uh, set dressing right this is all for just straight up uh, what do you call it uh, just signage there you go used for like the documents that you get you get a little you know little, little boop and then you get the the uh, document there you go so like I said it's cool it's stylized and stuff and someone clearly put effort but as you could tell already it's not concept art right it's more just cool shots of the game <clears throat> which in a way is nice you know it's nice because the the art of the game is like just the game itself right um but you know when you buy an art when you when you get an art book right when it's advertised as an art book you want the design stuff right you want the building blocks you want to see the drawings you want to see how it was built um, and this is kind of just showing off the final product, you know, the little details, right? How, how you know, detailed they got, how realistic the shit was, right? And, you know, like I said, it's nice, and I'm going to try to judge it off of that. But, um, it's, a, uh, you know, like I said, it's, if I bought this, and I was like, oh, dude, I got the art book, you know, and then I opened it, and there's no art in it, then I'd, I'd be a little disappointed, you know? Uh, but here we go. Raccoon City Police Department symbol, 1969, right? Look at that. The game obviously looks beautiful. Look at that typewriter. It looks gorgeous, right? Everything here looks fucking gorgeous. Realistic as hell. The RE engine does so well with realistic shit. They just, they literally just scan everything in. All the objects you find in the game, they just scan it in, dude, right? And that's basically how they get this photorealistic look, right? Yeah. Look at they they added a finger to make it look like oh, oh I took a picture with a finger. Right. That's funny. But yeah, it's a... Uh, or is that is that a is that a shoulder? Is that is that Claire or shoulder, I don't know. But either way, yeah, look at this. So, like I said, it's it's just screenshots and seeing how like you could take a picture from like every frame of the the Resident Evil 2 um, and make it look amazing is is really cool, you know. I think that's astounding. Um, it really shows that like the work was put into you know setting up how each room was gonna look, you know each you know how every room is like detailed, right? The statue and shit. Look at that. Look at look. This is so nice. Everything here is handcrafted, man. You know the game. Like, I, I think that's why Resident Evil kind of has, like, a different design process than uh, most other games, right? Um, because they really, really, really focus on the, you know, actual 3D model building, right? Not that other games don't do that, but, like, I think that's, like, that's the focus, you know, rather than the concept art. Usually the concept art um, has a huge say over what the, the, the final is going to look like, right? But in this case, they don't really do that as much, right? I I don't understand what this is. I don't know why they had to do this instead of just having one image. This is like different lighting. I don't I don't get it. I guess it's to see the the entire environment. This I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this image. Yeah. So, as an art book, I don't know if I could really recommend it, you know. But uh as a thing to, you know, as a thing to get on the side of the book, that's it's kind of neat, you know, it's nice. Right? Cuz like these photos are great, which just shows how great the game looks, you know, and how well, you know, composed it is, right? Classic Resident Evil, man. You know, that's the way it is. Um and I like how in in this game, you don't need the static camera angles, you know. Um, it's gonna look as good either way. Yeah, and it's gonna look super fucking realistic, right? But as a result, you know, they don't need much stuff designed, right? As in other games.
We have a plan of attack or some shit. Bathroom is all dirty and shit. Yeah, these are, see, these are cool. These are just cool screenshots, right? But, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of, like, there's people in, people who are players that could, you know, do this too. And, I don't know, man. Like I said, I if I got this as an art book, I would uh, be a little disappointed, right? Here we go. Now we we finally get something that's a little bit more like you know drawings and shit. Yeah. It's not this big, is it? Converted museum to reopen in 1969. No, is it this big? Is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'm just completely wrong. Because this thing looks huge in like... Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But it's cool that it's a, you know, it's a converted museum, right? That gives like the, the logic to why it's like such a big like fucking maze and shit. See, it's like, it's like someone was like a photographer and they went into the world of Resident Evil 2. Is this Kendo shop? I think, so. I think it's Kendo, yeah. I think, it's, look, look, look how illegible that is, like, on this photo. That's kind of a problem for me. I know in the, in the game you could read it just fine, but, like, right now it's, like, super ex overexposed, so I can't even, I can't even see it, man. But I guess it's supposed to show, like, how realistic the game is, you know what I mean? But, uh, I can't say I'm not a little disappointed. This is cool. This is nice. Yeah, this is, um, Chief Iron's room. Look at that. Yeah. He, he wants to be like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? One of those adventure types, you know what I mean, right? Like hunting animals, collecting stuff of the world. Like he wants to be a man of the world, you know. Yeah. You see him as young. That's kind of cool. That's a cool little detail. There he is. There you go. Damn, dude, to see him. Uh, all this like a pillar of the pillar of the community turn into this man dude the truth comes out man yeah we have the statue close up the jewel needed to get the um the the uh brooch the usb brooch so you could open the upgrades and get the magnum and then go downstairs and shove it into the thing, into the little box to get the upgrade for the Magnum. Or uh, the the uh, Mac Ten for uh, for Jill, the submachine gun, which sucks. The submachine gun is garbage, man. Absolute garbage. It's like why, like like Leon gets a fucking Magnum, and then Claire gets this shitty ass like <laughs> shit. It's awful. I guess the grenade launcher is cooler though, but you know, it's, it, or not cooler, but it's like it's cool, so it's like kind of more balanced. But, but Leon, dude, his weapons are so much better, man. You know, one shot like high impact weapons, they're just so much more satisfying. His only pea shooter is his pistol, man. While Clara has uh, like three pea shooters and the freaking grenade launcher. Here we go. Yeah, just like in the original, I like uh, Leon's playthrough better. Yeah, just, you know, files and shit, the desk, this is the, I think this is the, um, which room is this? I think this is the room where you could climb through the top and then it, you drop in, right? Yeah, yeah, this is where you climb out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need the... 
There he is, dude. The boy, young Leon. I love Leon, man. He is awesome. He's such a badass, dude. The rookie cop, dude. Before he becomes a fucking legend, man. And we got Claire. Yeah. I, this is one of the... I think this is one of the original, like, unlockable jackets. I wish they added that. Like, they already modeled it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got Jill. Um... I like her new outfit, you know? It feels modern. It feels right. Uh, but I... Like, you know the, the, the classic outfit? I wish they had the... Uh, undershirt. Because it, it, I feel like it balanced the outfit more, but in the new ones, they, they don't have an undershirt. And it's like, it's like, why? Why'd you do that? There you go. We have uh, Wesker's office. Ooh, my boy Wesker. Dartboard. Yeah, Stars, baby. Stars! Oh yeah, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Uh, hopefully we could uh, get the art of that soon. Uh, if you want my opinion, uh, I do not own the game right now. Okay, that should tell you how I feel about the cut, the cut content and all that stuff. Um, I really want to get it. I don't really feel as bad as like other people do about the game. Um, because I, I've watched runs of the game and now I'm like, I'm now I'm just kind of accustomed to the game. I watch Carsey, right? Like probably most of you. Um, but I. Uh, I can't drop, I can't, you know, I can't just drop 60 bucks on it, basically. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel worth it, okay? Especially with, like, the, the RE resistance, I don't think is a robust enough, you know, thing. I wish they had Mercenaries, you know, if they announce some free DLC and they're like, oh, dude, Mercenaries is gonna come out, then maybe I'll buy it. You know, but until then, I'm just gonna wait for a sale to get the, to get the game. Um, a little disappointing, but the story was cool, and I liked it, and it, when, when they... With the cuts the way they did, like it kind of made sense, but at the same time, I'm I'm disappointed. I really wanted to see the clock tower, right? Um, I don't really care about the worm boss and that shit, but you know the clock tower, like entire areas cut, the choice system cut. I didn't, uh, I I wasn't wasn't really happy about that, you know. Yeah, so we have the uh, three medallions, right? We have the unicorn. The lion and the lady and the maiden, I guess, right? Yeah, this is like the, this is like your first goal in the game, right? Just to get the three. It's really fun. Yeah. As someone put it, um, RE2 Remake is a fine wine. And RE3 Remake is a margarita, okay? And, um, that kind of, like, yeah, I'm like, I get it, you know? I get it. But, uh, I don't want to pay a margarita price. I, I want to pay fine wine prices for a margarita. You get what I'm saying? Carly Blair. Carly with a K. Ooh. And, A, like, L-I-E? Oh. No wonder she was gonna die. Okay, so, like, stuff like this, it's, I don't know, man. Like, this is where I'm like, you know, like, okay, well, is this cool? No. Like, if I were to review any other art book, would this be cool? No. Like, a blurry-ass fucking image? No. This is the problem, where, you know, the, in a lot of Japanese art books, they, they, that, the ones that kind of try to scramble something together, they, they take in-game screenshots, and they do, like, whoa, dude, it's, like, part of the world! You know, right? And it's just like, ah, uh, then why don't call it an art book? You know, call it a screenshot book or some shit. You know what I mean? Right? Look, here we go. RE2 art book, Ben's file. Okay? Here's a QR code. I don't know what that does. Is this, uh. Oh, I'm guessing this is the soundtrack, right? Yep. Okay. There we go. And uh, that is the end of the uh, collector's art book, right? 
like I said, uh, a little disappointing. A little disappointing, right? So, uh, that's why we're gonna look at the rest of the concept art, right? Because it's not, there's not much of it, and we might as well, since, uh, you know what I mean? Since we're, we're looking at it already, you know what I mean? And so, so we could see, like, I want to, I want to be positive about Resident Evil, you know, I love it so much, right? And I feel like the art that they actually give you in the game is, um, a little bit better. You know what I mean? It's, it's art, it's like actual drawings, right? And so, as a result, um, I think that would probably be the better result. Right, so um, with that, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch over to uh, the RE2 uh, concept art. Yeah. All right, so now we are going into the uh, Resident Evil 2 concept art, the actual concept art. Um, I found these this picture gallery at creative uh, creativeuncut.com, right? Uh, video game art library, right? Um, and uh, this is where I got all these images, right? And these are actual like key images, concept art, right, models, it's, uh, I think it's better, right, so, like I said, uh, I'm gonna combine these reviews into one, just so that they, you know, because they, they, they flow within each other so much, right, and, I, and, like, having them separate would just feel like a, you know, like a crime, right, yeah, so we just have the logo, right, white, black, right, background, here we go, we have some key art, Right, some promotional art um, used for like banners and stuff like that. There we go. This is cool. I wish they like use this more often. Right, like a uh, like one of those like movie poster type things where it's like, whoa, dude, and then the heads, and then like you know the like the 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 role that they play and shit. Right, nice. I'm surprised they didn't have a uh, Birkin in the background. This is really nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, we got some Leon concept art. I'll be honest, man. I it doesn't. I I don't like it. Okay. I don't like the style. I don't like the thickness of the line. It's too much. Um. Yeah. I don't like. I I seen the like. I saw the work. Um, done by this artist, and I'm not the biggest fan of their style, right? But maybe you guys are, but you know, it gets the point across, it shows the design, right? And so, you know, it's good enough, right? See, this is this is more preferable, and this seems more realistic to like you know what the design finally was. Uh, but this artist, I don't know, man, I don't know about these drawings, right? I don't know about this drawing. This is a little bit better, but like I said, um, it makes it seem like the concept artist who worked on this, who worked on the characters, was probably like a senior staff member who, you know, doesn't really rely too much on like drawing to convey their ideas, right? I don't know. It just seems like like strange for. For, from like this to 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 this, right? To this. Here we go. We got Sherry. See, so so Sherry looks a lot better, right? This seems more like a like a concept artist of the modern age, right? Yeah, it's actually painted and stuff. This is this is be this is much better. Yeah, tofu. Ooh. Tofu. Oh yeah, we got liquor designs. You know, I'm kind of sad that there was no liquors uh, in uh, RE3 remake. I feel like that was kind of a wasted opportunity. Like, yeah, there are hunters, but like, no liquors, really. And like they, because they go into the RPD, you know, there would be. I feel like there would be liquors there. Carl's is stomping around with his like, you know, big ass gun and shit, and it's like, no liquors, dude, zero. Here we go. Yeah, we got some signage here, right? Um, 
Yeah, this is the this is the one on on uh, Chris's jacket. This is the police department crest. We got a uh, Jill's or not Jill. Uh, we have uh, Claire's. Uh, we call it uh, race uh, race outfit, right? Which is a reference to uh, a character in a uh, Resident Evil like 1.5, right? Which is like a, a scrapped build of RE2. And the main character was a uh, like a NASCAR driver, right? Or or a, a basically a race car driver, and she wore that suit, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was scrapped. And then this is kind of just like an homage to like the fact that it happened. You know, the fact that they made it, and they don't want to they don't want to show like oh yeah we we you know hated what we made, but um, we just knew that it had to be you know massively redone yeah so that's a little, nice little homage right we have the we have the box right you know the box we need it we all love it um this is cool i've never seen uh, ada's uh hacking device like from the front so that's kind of cool to see um uh, we have the weird fucking doll that Sherry has in the thing. It's not hers, but you know what I mean? Like, who the fuck would own this, man? This thing is fucking creepy. Like, ugh. It stares into your soul. There you go. We got some RPD, uh, like the, the journal. Elliot, before he dies, is getting the clues and shit. Uh, we have the heart key location. I guess in concept, the, the lion's head would have been, like, you know, fallen off. That's kind of cool. We have uh, Leon, his 3D model. Very nice. I I think it looks fantastic, man. Leon, this game, looks so good. Like, zero complaints. Like, what can you... How? Look at that face, man. That's a young Leon. How could you complain? His outfit looks great. His RPD outfit looks great. It looks realistic. He's got a realistic vest. It's it's just I love it, dude. And I like I like how he has like the undershirt underneath, right? It's just I don't know. It's just a design that I think is like, very iconic. Claire also looks great. I like her leather jacket. You know, I like her tood, right? I like that she has the Magnum, which I wish was stronger. And the, the grenade launcher, it's just, I, I like her look, I like her, you know, even when she takes off the leather jacket, she has like the Tomb Raider look, you know, it's very nice, right, got a little pistol thing right here, nice. Oh yeah, we have uh, trench coat Ada, I loved Ada in this game too, right, I think uh, her design was fantastic, I love her trench coat, uh, it really, I like that she wore it for, you know, the beginning portion, because it's, like, raining and shit. Why would she be dressing... Why would she be in the cocktail dress, right? Um, well, yeah, kind of hiding who she is, right, to Leon. It's very nice. And then, boom, dude. We got, boom, Ada, dude. Sexy. Spy. Femme fatale Ada, dude. Okay. Pin up, dude. Wow. Sexy mama, dude. Exotic, beautiful woman, okay? Mysterious, okay? Spy, everything, dude. 007 shit. She's gorgeous. Look at her. And she's running running around those high heels, man. That's only something a spy could do. Yeah. I heard rumors that they're gonna do a Resident Evil 4 remake. And that makes me feel like... I don't know now. You know what I mean? Like, if they don't do RE4 justice, I don't know, man. Because that's, that's the game. Okay? I know there's a lot of people who are like, uh, I don't know about RE4, because it's not like the classics. But, dude, RE4, I think, is my, like, literally favorite game. Like, I've never played any game as much as I played RE4, man. Right? Um, it defined a whole new genre of games. It's it's legendary, and you you got to acknowledge its legendary status. Right? Um, I love it so much, and, like, it just seems like it was born out of, like, a pure environment of, like, chaos, right, and, um, it just something beautiful came out, right? Like, they made Devil May Cry from Resident Evil 4, and then they're like, oh, it didn't work, so we'll, we'll, we're gonna do it again, 
right? So they made a really, they made an even, they made an, another legendary series off the back of Resident Evil 4, man. So it's like even crazier, right? So I'm scared, man. I'm, I hope they give it the RE2 remake treatment and not the RE3 remake treatment. You understand what I'm saying, right? But yeah. Oh, I can't, I, dude, the, 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 the traitor or the, what is it called? The stranger. What is he? For? Merchant. There you go. The merchant man. Can't wait to see him like you know in full high res, right? You can look into his eyes and shit. Oh man. All right, back to this. So we got Sherry right here. Uh, Sherry looks great. I love her shorts, like her super long shorts. I I love them. I don't know why. Something about these shorts, man. It's it's so funny. It's such a, like, little kid thing to wear. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's got her shoes, got dirt all over. She got blood in her. Jesus Christ. Sherry, you know, she went through a lot of shit, but she did her best, man. That's what I really like about her. She wasn't a coward. She, she held her own for, like, against a lot of people. And even against Chief Irons, man. Look at that. Just a male zombie cop. Right? Yeah. Look how good this looks, man. I feel like in RE2, the zombies look better. And in RE3, they feel cheaper for some reason. I don't know. Like, because you've seen it more. Something about it. But look at that. These guys look fantastic. Maybe because they're reused, and then you're like, oh, yeah, these are, these are reused. Is this the... Is this the, uh... The vending machine guy? I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. He looks like it. He looks like vending machine guy. Eh, 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 eh. Look at that, dude. Classic Resident Evil. You know, where you see, like, the fucking teeth, man. Yeah, right. You sink their, sink their teeth in yang yang yang. Got a munchy bite. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. Here you go. Some unused designs. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of showing, like, the birth of the liquor, right? When their fucking head splits and you could see the brain. That would have been cool. This is some, like, like Poindexter turned uh, zombie. She's just like a fucking, like, bleh. This guy, he's just like, yeah. I'm glad they didn't add this in the game. This would have looked weird. This would have looked out of place. This looks like uh, the guy from Half Life 2, you know? Here we go. Oh, yeah, the tyrant. Ja boy, Mr. X. Who knew you'd be better out of. Who knew you'd be better than freaking Nemesis, man? They thought that you were the prototype for Nemesis, dude. But Nemesis, dude, does not even stand a chance against you, dude. I like how it's only until the end that he has, like, a weird, crazy transformation. You know? And his heart comes out. Uh, all, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Soul... Soul Calibur? Yeah, Soul Calibur. Yeah, look at him. Hey, tough guy. You think you thought you'd come go to my house? Ah, fool. Destroy you. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like the style. Maybe somebody else does, but I think... Um, there needs to be more variation in the line weight. Right? I just don't like the style. Maybe you guys do, I don't know. This is much better. This I prefer. Right? But yeah, look at that. We have him growing, grabbing his throat and shit. Yep, we got Birkin. Uh, this is much better, but it's also like a lot of photo bash with like a 3D model. Like here you go, we got a 3D model, and then bashed on, and then. But it's it's okay. It's paint. It's actual art. So I'm I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take the actual art more than than other uh than just the 3D models and shit, right? I think Birkin is a really great villain, or uh, 
like monster in this case. Look at that. He is so much cooler than Nemesis, man. And I didn't used to think that either. I used to think Nemesis was crazier than Birkin. But uh, now we now we live in this world, right? Where 2019 was better than 2020. Ain't that a crazy thing? We have his uh, final form. His, uh... You wreck him with fire form. And then you, you slash the shit out of him. Pro tip. Knives are great against uh, Birkin. Right? Especially on the PC version because you get a higher frame rate. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't his final form. This is this is his final form. Actually, no. The, none of these are his final form. This is his uh, his uh, fight against Claire form. The train thing where he's like... He really looks like a like a dead space monster in this one, you know? He looks like the the heavy guys in, uh, in dead space. But yeah, cool. Still has his big-ass bulging eye. Iconic, man. Here we go, final form, where he's just a mass of just You know? And then here you have your character and so like, fuck you bitch! You think I give a fuck how big you are, bitch? Every fucking bullet you dude. Fuck. This is really cool. I actually really like this concept art. This is I think one of the most successful pieces out of everything. You know, cause it's all painted, it's all crazy, you know, and it's got it's got a lot of I can't really tell the 3D elements from the, you know, 2D, right? But it looks great. Look, you get, you get, Birkin's face is just like, uh, over here now. He's like, he's, his face is just gone, dude. Here you go. Yeah, I think the creature artist, um, did a much better job. And the, like, like this concept art is, you know, a lot better than the character art. Look at that. We got Trash Boy, covered in trash. I live in garbage. I watch Sword Art Online daily, and I love the new season. I'm just joking. Okay, Sword Art. I feel like Sword Art Online is such an easy target that I'm not gonna be like. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I don't mean that. Okay. You can like what you like. Oh, that's a sword on light. Oh, damn! No, I'm just joking. Here we go. We have the, um... The plant guys. I don't know what they're called. Uh... I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. Yeah, Leon's about to get, uh, tentacle raped, right? You know how it is. The Japanese, man, they gotta have tentacles. That's just the way it is. Yeah, these guys fucking one-shot bitches, dude, unless you have a defense item. I hate them. When they eat your face, like... Blah, 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 blah. I hate them. This... Dude, I swear, man. I was in, like... I was having... Uh, I think a no-save run or something. And then, like, I got all the way to the lab. And then one of these motherfuckers got me. And I just fucking... Just pissed me off. I was like, okay, alright. That, that, there goes that no save run, right? Yeah, we got the front cover of the box, right? Got some more key art, it's cool. We got the, we got our heroes, and then rrr, zombies, you know, right? Very nice. Yeah, we got Leon, Claire in the rain. Really cool image, right? She's holding the, I think uh, Sherry's uh, pendant. Right? Leon looking like Tom Cruise for some reason. Very nice. In a dilapidated, destroyed city. Very nice. Uh, I think the perspective is off. Yeah. Because these guys would be extremely... Like, look look, like, look at this where this car... Like, like, the perspective line of this car, right? These guys would be giant. Yeah. They should have just 
shift it up like this a little bit more. Whatever, you know, it looks nice. No, nobody would notice. And we have a close up. Very nice. Um, I'm guessing they had a partnership with Harley Davidson to add uh, a bike to the game, right? A, a specifically Harley Davidson. That's kind of cool. There you go. And you get to do like a little. I guess they probably did a scan of it. And then they're like, oh yeah, can we do that? And then we'll, we'll advertise you. And it's like, yeah, dude, go for it. That's a really nice uh, thing. Cross promotion. We have a Sherry, right? Uh, with some canned food looking outside, dude. She doesn't know what the fuck is happening. She's got a little bit of blood on her. Yeah, dude. Scary world, man, for, for a child. Yeah, we got Ada showing off for the first time. I think these were used as, like, uh, promotional screenshots, right? Because she looks... I think she looks a little bit different. She doesn't have an earring in the in the new one. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have an earring. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's something I noticed. Yeah, we got Leon at the computer. Yeah, operations report, right? This is a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is advertising the Resident Evil keyboard, right? Which is a really cool thing, you know? It's nice. I think they're really expensive now. Just some zombie art, promotional zombie art, right? There you go. Now we're getting into some more environment art. Um, I guess this is the like the city streets right outside of the RPD. Here you can see the line where all the zombies are like we're getting mowed down and shit, but they, they got through. There you go. Uh, a lot of uh, photo compositing and shit, which I'm not a huge fan of, and like you can see a 3D model here. 3D model there, you know, real life photos, you know, composited. Composited, composited, you know, it's it's okay, I guess. You get a little bit of paint over, but you know me, I'm not a big fan of paint, like, using a uh, photo bashing, right? Not a big fan. And then 3D models on top of it. Yeah, you can see, like I said, a lot of, a lot of realistic textures and shit, not painted on, but just slapped in, right? Um, I think this is the 3D model of the mansion, and then you have the RPD gate. Right, I guess it, this is just for, like, color, for, for lighting reference. For the team, I guess. Come on. Come on. What's going on? Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, so we have the, uh, the front of the RPD gate, right? This is actually a really nice piece. I like the coloring. I like the lighting here. Um, the photo bashing isn't too too apparent in this one. They disguised it better, right? Uh, but yeah, this is much better. You get a little shot of, uh, of Leon in the center. That's nice. You have like little different iterations on it. Little, little different shots, right? Uh, these would probably be really low poly, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah. If you go through, then you see, let's see, we've got a 3D model here. Outside, seeing the whole thing. Uh, just broke in, or yeah, yeah, just stepped in. Zombies all going around the gate. I'm guessing that this was the original. I think from uh, the original RE2. Is this like a scale model? If it is, that's really cool. That'd be really cool to get. Here we go, some real concept art now. Uh, you've got the, the lounge, right? Um, yeah, you can see that this is this is way more painted, right? Uh, here and there, but you can see that they, they there's stuff like this where it's like um, a lot of real life reference plugged in. 3D model here, 3D model there. Alright, so 
I guess they use, they build the 3D models and they kind of use how the artists uh, come in to do lighting and stuff. But this is this is cool. This is this seems like it's like almost all painted. You know, this is a nice shot. Here we go. Yeah, we have uh, the stars room. These are nice, right? This is where I feel like it's it's uh, it's getting to the point where I like it, right? Where it's like a real painting, you know, like intricately painted and shit. Um, you can't really tell where the f like if there's photo bashing at all, you know. That's what that's what I like. Um, if I can't tell, then you did then you did it right. Then you did the photo bashing right. Here you go. We have the central office, right? Who works here, man? No, no, no this is yeah. I think this is just for uh, the museum part. We have a uh, gate right here. Just. Yeah, this is the way in, the, the, the gate goes up, right? The side hallway at the top, near the top. Clock tower. Well, I guess we got, we got a clock tower in one game. Yeah, here we go. We have a Kendo right here. And his daughter, as you know, Emma. Yeah, this story is very sad. I think canonically he dies, but I'm not sure. It's so much better than uh, than what happened in Resident Evil 2, the original. He just comes, he's like, oh, and then he dies, you know, whatever. But in, in RE2 Remake, he, he plays like a human role to show like the, the citizen of uh, Raccoon City, right, in their mind state. Look at that. Outside of his shop right here. Yeah, his appearance was really cool. We have, uh, this is the orphanage? Huh. Why is Leon in here? Maybe originally they, they had it so that they would, they that both of them could go, but then they probably changed it. Due to time constraints or some shit. We have the <laughs> They have Leon, and then they just have Sherry, and just flipped over, like, Ugh. Yeah, that's her in the trash. Like, look how great this art is, and then you just have, like, I mean, I'm just, I'm Sherry. That's funny. Yeah, the sewer sections, right, the more linear sections. Um, I think this is the bottom of the... The orphanage, and how you get to the sewers from there. Here we go. Now we're get we're getting to the the lab. Really cool. I like how the game shifts from like the suburban to like this crazy sci-fi shit. It's like, whoa, dude, this is the source man. Really cool. There we go. We got the uh, frozen room. We got the area where they're making all the leaf guys. Right, the, the I can't remember what they're called. Cloning experiments and shit like that. The doctors killed themselves. They're they're all shot up because the the hunk team came in, right? Um, this is the big rotating thing for the train, right? Where uh, Jill fights the fights the last form of Birkin, or the 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 second to last form of Birkin, right? It's nice. I wish you had to do this fight as Leon, you know, I feel like that would have been cool, but I guess not, because I guess it goes against the story. Uh, we got the the forge area, yeah, the big uh, gondola going down, where you fight uh, the tyrant in his uh, super form, right? Really cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, these are unused concepts. I guess this could have been like another outside area. Like kind of far out from uh from the from the uh 
the police station. Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's like the foundry. Um, these are storyboards. Yeah, this is. I think this is when Elliot gets. No, no, no. This is the first guy that gets eaten. And then uh, Leon does his, you know, classic. Don't move. Yeah, this is the scene with a uh, gun shop kendo. This is the scene where Claire sees Sherry for the first time, and she's like, "You're the one who needs help, bitch." Oh yeah, Sherry, she's hiding, and then his face is fucked up. Oh, Ada goes in for the kiss, dude. Seduces young Leon, dude. Come on, man. He's a young man. How is he supposed to know? Okay. The mind of a complicated older woman. Who's a goddamn spy, dude. A Chinese spy! Yeah. Love these characters, man. Love this game. And, uh, oh, I think that's it. Alright, so, uh, let's, let's look for an image to uh, end on. And then, uh, I could give you my impressions of, uh, both books, right? But, but at this point, you kind of basically know my impression, right? Uh, but let's, let's, uh, let's do it anyway. Kind of sum it all up. Here we go. Let's find us a good image. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's use this one. This one right here. This is a cool image. Yep. Compose it a bit. Can I can I go full? No. This will be fine. All right. So, uh, my review for the uh, art book, the collector's art book. I gotta say, um, I see people selling it online. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. You're gonna be disappointed. Um, if you're con if you're expecting concept art, you're not gonna get it. You know. Um, all the concept art that's in the game is, I think, enough to suffice. Honestly, I wish they just took what they had in the thing and then put it in the book. You know, that would have been fine as well. Um, but as it is, it just it's more like a screenshot collection than an actual art book and that that irks me man because you know as a person who buys art books then I, I i've been misled many times and it feels like another case of that where they try to make um something robust out of screenshots but at the end of the day it's not really what you were expecting so it's almost like false advertising in a way um so if you're looking to get this book don't don't get it man you know you, you can see it i'll i'll be linking um the book uh, in into the uh, subreddit, you know, you know, I'll leave a li link in the description for you guys to check it out, right? Um, but yeah, you can check that out there. Yeah, don't buy it. Just just look at it. You know, appreciate it for what it is, right? Um, but I could imagine if people bought the collector's edition, like like, oh yeah, dude, finally I get a, uh, I get the Resident Evil Two art book. They probably opened it and were like, oh, 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 it's one of these, right? And you know. For those of you probably looking online to buy it, um, just know what it is, man. It's not it's not what you expect, right? It's not what I expected either. Um, I was excited to get the, the to get these files, but at the end of the day, uh, they weren't quite what I expected, right? That being said, the concept art for the game, uh, the environment art, the creature art is good. The character art leaves a little bit left you know to be desired uh, the the models that's the star of the show man the models the people like the the that like that's it's it's kind of it's weird you know because it's this, this dichotomy where like the 3d models like really show so much more than the than the concept art right and usually the concept art is the one that's like whoa dude i wish you did this whoa i wish you did that you know it's but in this case it's the the final work that really matters, I guess, in uh, in the eyes of Resident Evil, um, because they're just gonna go for realistic, right? So yeah, um, art book, don't get it. Concept art, it's already in the game, it's great. Look at it, um, and just enjoy for what it is, right? 
Um, I love Resident Evil, but I gotta say, like, in terms of, like, art book and stuff, it's a little... It's a little, like, you know, it's a, it's it's not exactly what you want, right? Um, but that being said, I love the game, I love the result, so who, like, you know, who am I to say that the art, the concept art didn't do its job, right? Uh, yeah. So with that, guys, um, uh, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, uh, comment down below, tell me what you guys feel about this art, right? Subscribe if you're not subscribed, ring the bell, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot.